Good afternoon, welcome to the California Sea Lion Fish exhibit here in the Kansas City Zoo. My name is Dan, I'll be host. Today on this beautiful fall Sunday afternoon. Now today we're going to be two very special animals and their trainers. We're going to participate in their training session. Now very often we only see the finished product of animal training, but today you'll get to witness the process of training the sea lion. Our trainees today were rescued off the coast of Northern California. Both pups were abandoned by their mothers in separate locations. Why do we know? So what we do know is that these two are the most needed today at the Animal Center of Northern California and the Outstanding Trainers and Death Trap of the Kansas City Zoo. Let's join the Grand Union in progress. Now on the southwestern side of the world, we have sunshine for the Trainers and Death Trap today. And over here on this side of the pool, over on the south side of the pool, we have Kristen and Delilah. Now we train sea lions for a moment. First of all, we want to educate people on how to sea lions are. We want you to love sea lions like we do. I can't believe she gave me something. Now, another reason why she's training is that she's lying. She's still looking at her. 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 She's is taking over her back, rolling over, taking her coming. and taking her out. Coming. And we do it this way because it's so much easy on the sea lions. The veterinary staff and the training staff, the sea lions are able to participate in their own health and So much easier than this training sea lions. Why we train sea lions? These are incredibly smart animals. And training them helps keep them safe. They learn to protect their behaviors. They learn to protect their behaviors. Right now, you can see the lion has her training. Her training to jump up and down. Great job. How do you train sea lions like these? These are positive reinforcement. Things that we ask the sea lions to do, they learn from the sea lions. We get them to do it. What kind of things do you use? Do you speak them? Do you? In this case, typically, they can be used to do it. Looks kind of like a shark. It looks bad. There he is. Now, these sea lions were raised by me. They were brought from California when they were over two weeks old. They were kept in indoor pools. They were taught to swim. They were taught to eat fish. When they first arrived, they were bobble fed by the trainers. Special blend of fish formula they were fed. They were sloppy as eaters I've ever seen. They would have four people running down their chest. Maybe crying out sounds for the food. It didn't sound like a sea lion bark at all. Behaviors like orca sheep, which is when the sea lion swims through the water, and these jumps just like sometimes they do. These little jumps in and out of the water enables the lions to be outside of the predators. In the wild, these predators can be great white sharks and killer whales. Now, another way the sea lions can escape from these animals, these predators, is by sending these around through the water where they can't get to them. Now these two sea lions have a little bit of a personality. Sunshine is a very laid back personality. You have a little bit of a flow. Delilah is a little more hot. She's a little more active. She's a jump with Delilah. She's a little faster. Now 
know one interesting thing about the fur of Tom Zeeline is that their fur is very, very slippery. Uh, right hand, the cord of tail feels very slippery. It looks almost like a dolphin that is actually fur. But this fur, when rubbed against the very
joining us today for our California Sea Lion exhibit. We hope you have a fantastic day. Yeah.